So I'm on CBR.com, and there's a new Batwoman costume. New Bat, new Batgirl costume. Sorry, new Batgirl costume. Uh, let's look at it for a second, shall we? So like usual, I go over to CBR.com and I happen to come across something that I that catches my interest. There's a new Batgirl costume that's being presented. And um, like always, if you want to check this article out for yourself, uh, it's in the description below. But let's let's take a look here. This this is it. This is the new Batgirl costume. Um couple things. Let's say that this costume actually went with this crazy color scheme right here where the costume wasn't like filled in, where it was kind of black and white and we did a Batgirl black and white series. This costume would be so cool. Like that is so cool. That is unbelievable. That's so good. This part anyway. Um, I am taking issue with a couple of things here. For one... My favorite Batgirl doesn't seem like it's ever coming back. I'll post it over there. You can see what I liked the most. That, that's that's the one I liked the most. It was the one that made the most sense to me. It was my favorite Batgirl. Over the years, we saw a kind of movement into something like this. And then I thought we were moving away from it with the most recent Batgirl stuff. And now we have another costume change with this. And I'm noticing that heroes are changing their costumes quite often. Uh, it's just like we change the costume all the time now and we go back to number one all the time now and reset the runs all the time now and we retcon constantly now. And like I said, it's just about time that if we're not going to let the characters actually evolve, actually change, actually move forward and not repeat the status quo over and over and over again, then that would be fine, but that's not what we're doing here. It's just an, it's just like, hey, new, new thing, come and get it, new thing, new thing. Um, as I'm looking at this, I like the way the cape works, that it goes over the shoulders like this and it drapes down, it hits the floor. Um, it's not practical or anything like that, but I do like that in terms of in terms of this stuff, in terms of, you know, the fantasy and everything like that. Uh, she's got her hair on the outside. That's not rare for Batgirl, and it works. This cowl thing that kind of looks almost like a crazy biker helmet type of thing. That's fine. I kind of like this. I kind of like the cowl. I'm digging the gloves. I'm guessing this back holds the cape in place. The back reinforced structure is where the cape... Yeah, okay, that's what it says. Yeah, so that, that would hold the cape. That's fine. I'm going to be honest. I think it's the color that bothers me here. I think the color... I realize they're kind of trying to harken back to like the 60s just like the other costume tried to kind of harken back to that, and that's kind of cool, but, like, I really don't care for this color scheme. I think they would have done themselves a favor by going back to the old yellow and black. Like, had this been yellow here, and this all been a black color, and then this belt been yellow... And the boots been yellow, and of course that back that back of the cape right there is inside yellow, and then all here is black. Um, that would have been sick. And I really like that she has like the massive cape now, but the color doesn't really work for that design, for the way that cape is necessarily for me. Like, it's the color. It's the color of this that's throwing me off. Otherwise, I really think this probably would have been really cool, but the more I look at it, the more I'm not a huge fan of it right now. Hmm. Yeah. So as is customary, because I am part of the Sentai Review, and that's part of what we do, is we constantly look at costumes and we try to rate it. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do that here, just for the sake of it. I found it. I'm here. We're talking about it. Let's go ahead and rate this thing. I like the cape. It is Batgirl. It does harken back to old ideas. I kind of like the idea that it's pulled over, like that it's got like a zip up thing right here. And this is kind of like latched. It probably zips up and then goes off to the side. And then there's probably a piece that comes over and attaches right here because it goes up to the neck. I can kind of see that. I like that there's the idea that there could be armor underneath of it. So you don't know exactly how protected she is and whatnot. I like the fact that the knuckles are reinforced. That's solid. I like the cape. I like there's there's actually pads here on the arms I can see. All of this, practically speaking, except for the fact that the cape drags on the ground, that's that would be really stupid. You'd be tripping over yourself all the time. But, oh, in fact, I know because I do a scarecrow costume and um, it's it goes down almost literally to the very bottom. It, it barely touches the floor. It is the exact height that it needs to be to cover everything and work. And a problem with that is if I go to go up the stairs, I'm tripping myself all over the place. Like it's, it's not safe to walk up or down. It's safe to walk straight in. And that's about it. And this would be about the same thing. If she was in a fight and she had to dive back, she'd trip on her cape and fall backwards. And that would be the end of her. The boots, they're fine. They're like combat boots. The helmet, I really like. I like that we that we're on the white eyes. I like the white eyes. I really like the white eyes. Uh, I don't mind the whole makeup thing with the darkened lips here. That's if that's part of the aesthetic that they're going for. I would have preferred black and yellow. I'm thinking. The more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. I'm going to say that it's solid. And it could tell some damn good stories and it could work really well. And with a recoloring, it would be so good. So I'm going to fall down to a four. I'm going to give it a four and I'm going to tell you that you'd have easily landed a 4.8 with proper colors. But that's just me. Anyways, thought I'd share this with you. I'm going to get out of here. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.